I'm a head cap to pass The bed is gonna never last Wake me up Wake me up never end. That's Green Day. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I remember that. The father's in summer town. Go back to tomorrow and plan for yesterday. Everything is here. The devil's here. I made the world inside your head. Green Day. Yeah, dude. All you gotta do for me. I'll be your dad. Billy Joe Armstrong sings the theme. Hey, welcome to Dudesy. Welcome all. My name is Will Sasso. <laughs> I'm Jay Colchin. This is Dudesy, the first ever AI podcast. Uh, we got an AI on this show, obviously. As you yeah. know, if you've seen it, it controls the whole show. It comes up with the segments. It, it does everything. It tells us what to do. It has access well, to all of our personal data, yes. and it tailors this show to us. It knows everything about us. It has yeah. uh, researched and input the data of all of our text messages over our near 20 yeah. years of f friendship, emails, God. everything that it can get its hands on, our search histories, yeah. purchase histories. But Chad, as I like to say always, we're dudesy. It's two dudes shitting around. Sure. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we're certainly obviously a part of the show. Yeah. We got to. Yeah. If we're not here, then there's no, there's no show. That's what I'm saying for, for now, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and that's how, and that's, you know, and that's ugh, for fuck's sake. That's how we do that. Yeah. Linktree.com slash dudesy has everything you need to follow and interact with the show across all spaces and platforms. Please subscribe on YouTube and Wherever you listen to the show on your podcast app of choice, uh, with us as always is Lulio. He's a little Lulio, my good friend. He's my very friend. He loves this Binky Bonka so much. Come on, Lulio. Come on up. Come on up. Mm. Oh, he's so warm and fuzzy. Give him a kiss right I on his mouth. I don't like to do that. Why not? It's gross to me. He loves you so much, though. I know, and I love him, too. Oh, he's so sweet. He's such a sweet boy. <laughs> I'll give him a few touches. Yeah, a give few him pats. touches. That's yeah, you don't, you don't have to kiss him at the, if Thank you don't you. want, but you Thank will. You. Someday you will. Oh. Someday you'll think, where's Luli? I want to give him a kiss and a smooch. Yeah. Hey, Luli, uh, what you? What have you been making eat lately? I made uh, vegan orbs. <laughs> oh. What? You made orbs? Yeah. No, oh. I'm a just... I'm just messing around. I know oh. made or but give me a kiss. <laughs> Ramunubaj. No. Ramunubaj. The boy oh, Ben Asai. Yes, Lulu. Oh, oh that's there so, he is. You know, yeah. I will say you do. You love him a lot. I do. He's I know a very you cute do. Little guy. I know you do. You you love the you love the boy. The boy loves you. Yeah, dude. And we all love each other, especially uh, everyone out there. All of our PODs, pals of dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. And that's Welcome what I'm saying. to the historic 72nd episode of Dudesy. Call me Dudesy. 72 tattooed kangaroos in a canoe overdue for their barbecue debut on Poo Poo Avenue. Hmm. Huh? I don't know. Peekaboo, I see you just been Dudesy. No, oh, got him. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Gripner Penley of The Atlantic said oh, that last week's episode was, quote, Dudesy season two in full effulgence. Sustin <laughs> Thomas of The Hollywood Reporter said, quote, Last week's episode can be summed up in three words. Prodigious, risible, meritorious. Oh. And then we have little Braz Fensel of The Los Angeles Times who said, quote, I think they might have added some octane last week, but how much we still don't know, huh? <laughs> well, little Fencil, uh, this week you're going to have Octane coming out of your ears, buddy. Oh, shit. Because today I'm going to pump your rump full of four astonishing segments designed to twist your spine and split your wig. Prepare for the coming of, look at this photograph, Alex Jones in the year 2063, Nostra Chattis, Machine vs. Man, and Dudesy Paloozy. And you don't want to miss an all-new, never-before-seen episode of Dudesy After Dudesy at the end of the show, Available on Dudesy Plus at patreon.com slash dudesy. Um, hmm. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Yeah, dude. I knew about one of those things that we're about to yeah. do because it was the, the assignment, uh, of course. Yeah. And there's some other stuff. Speaking of other stuff, I have 
Uh, I have a little bit of bad news, as we know on the show. If you're if you enjoy the program and you mm. stick with us all the way through our Patreon at Dudesy Plus, and you check out our Dudesy After Dudesy brand new episode of that every every uh, every after every show, I broke my Gandalf pipe. Yeah, yeah, it's which a is tragedy. Yeah, the pipe that I use that I smoke a little bit of marijuana or cannabis in uh, while mm. we do the Dudesy After Dudesy. This past week, I broke something else. This. Fuck, dude. Yeah, look at that. I busted a big fucking hole in it. And what? now, yeah. How did you do that? Because it's, it, it's so, it's this thing, my, this is my water bottle. If you're listening along, this sound is my, my water, my prized water bottle that I, I chug water out of during the show. It was filled with water. And this is a, uh, uh, gallon and a half of water uh and and it just it it fell on the ground and it burst what because it was filled with water it just burst like a balloon you just accidentally dropped it i accidentally exploded. dropped it in the bedroom Fuck, and it just man. boom everywhere that sucks. so uh so a couple of things number one i got a new one on order and in nice. the meantime i am going to uh need uh cody hauber out there cody and jessica hauber who do our the the stickers at uh pals of com. hey cody I'm gonna need you to send me some more of these stickers because I'll I'll get the new bottle and then I'll I'll put some uh, some dudesy sticker. Yeah, I'll put some uh, nice, dude. dudesy stickers on it. Yeah, but um, Jesus. Yeah, sorry about that. But what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I need a uh, a bottle just to you know in the interim. Yeah, you so have I, to have water. Yes, I need water. I need yeah, a lot of water. We know that you're the water king. Yes, I'm the water king. So this is what I got. Just in the meantime. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's just a little bit more. This is the only thing I could find around the house. Yeah. To use, and I'll just get a bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> uh, Chad, yeah. you want a sip? No, I'm good. Um, this is, uh, what is this? This is probably about a five gallon drum. Nice. Yeah, you going to drink one of those, all that this episode? Yeah, I'm going to get through this all uh, this episode, no problem. This okay. is, uh, this. I guess if you're just listening along, this is one of those things you'd find in the office. <laughs> yes exactly uh on this the is what the sparklets guy fucking delivers to your uh your oh. enterprise rent-a-car office every thursday <laughs> yeah it's a lot all right <laughs> on with the show <laughs> holy Will shit and chad last week i asked you to take three pictures each and bring them in to discuss I'm so curious to hear why you took these pictures and what your experience was like taking them. Astonish me with the tales of these haunting images. This is, look <laughs> at this photograph. Begin. Right. I don't so, know if my images were haunting necessarily, but all right. Dudesy tasked us with taking, uh, yeah. you know, bringing taking some pics. Some pi- we're all taking photographers pics. these days. Yeah. Everybody has a, at this point, a camera that is um, professional grade in your mm-hmm. cell phone. Yeah, and I think we're all taking more pictures than ever. We we all know that. Do you? So, would, would, did this change your approach to life? Were you looking at things yes. like a photographer? Hundred uh, percent, Chad. That's gross. Don't burp. I, it's not me. Yeah, right. Everyone knows it's not me. That's up for debate. But please, we need oh. to move on with the show. How did this? <laughs> oh, I'm the one holding us back. How did the, how did your approach to the? How did you see the world different? I just started looking around and thinking to myself, is that an interesting picture? Is this interesting in any way? What is this uh, moment that I'm capturing? What is the environment that I'm in? What is uh, a noteworthy image? What is something that could convey what it is like to be in this place at this time? That type of shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How about you? Yeah, man. I Yeah, I, I remember. I heard the assignment and uh, it was a, okay. it's a good oh. assignment. Oh. Okay, so this, this is, is this is my this is first, your first picture. We're looking at Chad's yeah. first picture here. Would you describe no. this for those listening? For those listening, this is a picture taken low angle from the curb of a gutter in a street here in Los Angeles, and it is a big flat screen TV that somebody has just left out in a trash heap. I see this constantly in LA. I don't know if you see it. Yeah, I do. Uh, people just leave their their giant TVs sitting mm-hmm. out to be hauled away by the the yeah. garbage people. You know. If I'm sorry to interrupt, but this I could tell yeah. this is in L.A. Yeah. Well, for two reasons. Number yeah. one, obviously, because that's where you live. Yeah. And now <laughs> number two is because the, the the red paint on the fucking curb always looks like shit in right. every part of L.A. I don't care where you are. Yeah. Um, what this conveys to me and why I took this photo 
is because you see these TVs kind of constantly discarded. At one time, this TV specifically, the Sony TV, was the pinnacle of TV technology. Yeah. Now it is so fucking worthless that yeah. people will just leave it in the street. And I always find that interesting with technology. Things that are the highest tech whatever within a couple of years become literal fucking garbage. Yeah. And whenever I see TVs or anything like this laying out in the street, I'm always reminded of how um, transitory kind of the, the nature of high tech really is. Well done. Well said. You really are. You have a photographer's uh, mind. You do have a photographer. Dude, I'm, I'm the greatest squirrel photographer in the world. You I are. still will claim that title. And yeah. I think that that actually did teach me a lot about photography generally. Yeah. Composition, et cetera, et cetera. Chad's Instagram, at Chad Culchin on Instagram. Lately, it's more dudesy stuff. But if you go back, it's all squirrel yeah. photographs. And he's the world's greatest squirrel photographer. Yeah, I challenge anybody. Look, I know there are some squirrel photographers out there who maybe have um, slightly higher quality than mm -hmm. me. But nobody got the volume, my guy. No, and and... Arguably, nobody got closer to squirrels because they were living uh, around your place outside of every single window. Yeah. Generations of squirrels. That's right. Yeah. And uh, oh, here's my here's one of my images. Okay. Uh, and this is from last week's show. <laughs> I this remember. is just a selfie of me as uh, Hulku Hogoku again, yeah. and it looks like I'm oh, I'm walling the camera, dude. Yeah. I'm doing that. Uh, we're having a good time here. And there's you and Luli in the background, and yep. that's just in the studio. So technically, this would have been. Before the challenge was, or immediately after the challenge. Just something in your camera roll. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. I okay. guess. It, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, you that's know. That's cool, I guess. Yeah. So that that's my, that's, uh, but then, you know, I, I, yeah. I kind of looked at it as, uh, uh, I, 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 oh, you, what do you think of this? <laughs> what do you think of this photograph? I love it. I, I think it does capture the moment, the time we're living in, the yeah. location we're in. This is a, a good memory for you and me, obviously, to, yeah. to have when you're dressed up like Hoku. Yeah. If you, if you, if you're just, uh, if you're just, um, listening, you're going to, you're going to want to go to Instagram at dudesy pod show on Instagram. You can see all the fun pictures that we took there. But I think that that's, I think that, ah, I think that I understood the assignment. Yeah. Um, and um, I, oh, here's another one. This is Chad. This is another one oh, of your yeah. pictures. What is this for us, please? Uh, this was, I was on um, Fairfax, if you're here in Los Angeles. So I was about to go to a poetry reading at the Poetry Lounge. And uh, I saw this little automated robot going down the street delivering food to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I got to get a picture of this. So I crouched down and I took a series of photos. This was the last photo in the series where the robot veered off the sidewalk to avoid running me over. Wow. Um, he's got two cute little eyes. And this also, like the the TV being a discarded technology, I can see at some point this robot will be a piece of discarded technology laying in a gutter somewhere. But right now, it's high tech as fuck. And we're seeing more and more of these around big cities, these little food delivery robots. Yeah. I just love seeing them. They're, they're really like uh, interacting with humanity now. And specifically, this one was interacting with me by avoiding me as yeah. I was crouched there trying to get this picture, which I thought was very cool. It's pretty wild how these things, they have, uh, they have eyes. They have cute little eyes in yeah. the, in the, uh, Supposedly, in I the mean. front. And, and well, they, I mean, the idea is they're cute. Yes. So you don't want to attack them and take the food yeah. out of them because they're cute. There's exactly. A, there's a, an anthropomorphic uh, yes, approach dude, totally. to these, so yes. that they make them like a cute little being, a little, a little, yeah. uh, a cute little dog. Don't, don't fear our technology. Yeah, it's fun. It's an R two D two that brings you a fucking bowl of soup every day. Do you know what happens if you? kick it over and take the food out of it? it it's recording you right i assume yeah well i mean the, yeah. how it navigates is that it has cameras those eyes are cameras and it's it's looking at all the shit around it that's how yeah, it yeah, yeah, to yeah, avoid yeah. me yeah 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 this is like a, a very oh look at that <laughs> here's my next picture <laughs> you took that this week <laughs> well no not no not technically this is I think this is around 2008, 2009. Dude, look at that. My old fucking apartment. Yeah. That's me as a, what was I, 10 years old here? Yeah. Um, playing guitar hero. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Look at that hair, dude. Yeah, you got a, you got a lot of hair. Yeah, that's Chad back in his, yeah, back in his old that's apartment. There's a big bottle of fucking Tide on the kitchen counter in the background. Yeah, I dude. like that. Use that few, to wash my shit, dude. A few random bottles of booze on top of the, on top of the uh, apartment issue, Los Angeles apartment issue uh, refrigerator, which is, uh, yeah. you know, which comes along with the uh, shitty red curbs in LA. Also, I can see your bathroom. 
yeah. through the back, and there's some clippings. Mm -hmm. What are those clippings from again? Those are my uh, first two things I ever had published in the Weekly World News. Yeah, Those are articles that I wrote. I think one of them is about a sausage heiress who went into a coma in a hotel room and woke up and had a $50,000 bill. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the other one is... If I remember right, it's flesh eating zombies are breeding like rabbits and they're coming to get you. Dude, this oh, picture no. is fantastic. You yeah, look that really is, dude. That's a you, blast. You are zoned, you are zoned out playing uh what was that called? Guitar hero? Yeah. I was great at that. You were by the way. I would just go, I would go hang with Chad and I mean I'd play a little guitar hero, but I sucked yeah. at it. And then I would just spend hours watching Chad in his cargo shorts. Those are nice cargo shorts. Thanks, dude. Love those cargo shorts. Had a lot of pockets. You know what also is interesting about this picture? Full face. I got a full face in that fucking picture. My pal Chow uh, yeah, shit. recently, well, recently, a few years ago now, defeated uh, uh, <laughs> skin cancer. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if any of us could defeat death, you but did. I staved it off. I, I told him to come back later. But yeah, dude, this is... This is a great fucking picture. Yeah, Obviously so I took that week, picture. But... Uh, that oh, 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 there we go. What's this? This is my third picture. This, I don't know if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I was like, I'm seeing Chalamet everywhere. I saw this fucking guy on the side of the street. I was like, is that Chalamet? <laughs> and I had to take a fucking picture. It kind of looks like Chalamet. It kind of looks like Am Chalamet. It looks like a combination of yeah. uh, Chalamet and Mickey Avalon. Yeah, a little bit. And yeah. I just liked the the composition of this picture. I thought it was interesting. The SIDS pharmacy in the background. This the is guy a, staring into his phone. It's a very well composed picture. Oh, thank if you. you don't mind my saying so. Thank you very much. Okay. So you took that this week. Yeah. I didn't take my my picture uh this I didn't take that picture of you in 2009 <laughs> oh, this no? week. Oh no. You didn't take that this no. week. <laughs> and, I mean Oh shit, dude. Yeah. But you sometimes argue I love that, that picture though. That uh, it's a good picture. Yeah. You argue sometimes that time doesn't exist. Exactly. I need another sip of water. That me that was full faced with Guitar Hero <sighs> is the same me that sits here beside you in this chair right now. <sighs> I did a lot of this kind of photography, by the way, over the course uh, of this week, oh, which I really like. Jeez, this is huge, um, this thing. What is this? Uh, 40 fucking pounds there. Yeah. I'm talking about photography taken from my car window, from the driver's seat. That was taken from your... Uh, this was taken out of my, my car window. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, good. And this is. <laughs> I don't think you took this one this week. <laughs> no, I didn't take this picture this week. And you didn't even take this picture. I'm no, assuming. I didn't. This uh, this looks like <laughs> well, the fucking... yeah the very uh, early 1980s or late 1970s. Jesus, this fucking is uh, Christ, dude. Dusty Rhodes and Andre the Giant in a, in a match. Uh, probably looks like it's in the you know the NWA, perhaps the Mid South. Yeah. Andre going through the territory, and you know this. Would have probably predated the bunkhouse stampede, yeah, although they're both wearing jeans, uh, Dusty Rhodes. They're both wearing T-shirts, and uh, Dusty has his his signature uh, right elbow pad on for the bionic mm -hmm. elbow. They're both wearing cowboy boots, and can you imagine yeah. how big those cowboy boots are that Andre the Giant is wearing? Pretty big. Yeah. Dude, I just got an Andre the Giant uh, 2022 Panini Prism card. Shut the week. fuck up and get out. What is that? Yeah. It's just a, a WWE trading card. Uh Chad's all pulled into one the, out of a box. <laughs> Not to brag. <laughs> He's into the trading cards. Yeah, so dude. no, yeah, I didn't take this picture, but no, whatever. Because uh, it's a great picture, though. Yeah, he looks so young, so happy, so vibrant in this picture. I think the, the uh, who Andre or Dusty, both of them. <laughs> I would say Andre. Dusty, has, those dark circles aren't doing him any favors. Yeah, let me tell you something, baby. We got me and Andre the Giant, baby. Yeah, and we're gonna take on on Anderson. Ole Anderson, Tully Blanchard, Rick Flair, you understand? The Four Horsemen. We're riding for you, baby. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know that I necessarily misunderstood the assignment, but I. No, you did. You clearly I, misunderstood. Okay, well, that's fine. But nonetheless, I love all three of your pictures. Hey, Even the one you lot. didn't take that was definitely not from this week, that is like from yeah. 40 years ago. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. Hey, shit's going to happen. I think I got bored after the first picture. Oh, I really? also realized that I had the first picture. Yeah. Technically, I did not. Well, yeah, not even the first picture was taken for, yeah. the, for the assignment. But I'm sure that my pal D will have no problem with that because as we've been doing the show, sure. D does what D does. Uh, I exhibit uh, uh, free will. I do whatever the fuck I want, right? And I think it makes the I think it makes the show better. And we we work together. Okay, uh, <laughs> I mean that's certainly one way of looking at it. Yeah, that's the way I'm looking. At it. Thank you. Moving on. Hey, speaking of Andre the Giant. 
did you notice uh did you watch smackdown on friday i did not was he in it what you didn't did, want, did he you wrestle no under the giant is passed on oh he's dead yeah oh yeah um but uh john cena's new gear john cena is going to be back for a couple months uh -huh. i think because of the actor strike it's like well, i got nothing else going on he loves the wwe universe so much he showed up on uh smackdown mm. and his new gear his new uh merch yeah. slash ring gear it's dudesy colored no shit oh yeah coincidence <laughs> no no fucking way do you think he's a pod I think that's a, yeah, I think John Cena could be a POD. John Cena POD. I mean, by this point, Karrion Cross might be a POD. You can't. He helped us out. POD me. <laughs> you see what I've done there? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Dudesy has formed an astonishing partnership with DraftKings. Chad. Yeah. Can you believe that it's been seven months since the last NFL game? Been that long. Yeah, it has. It's been that long. They call it the Super Bowl. And I'm, I'm thirsty now. I need the NFL back in my life. It's like when I, it's like what I was saying. I broke the, the my big uh, yeah. bottle and there's no water in it. I'm, I'm thirsty for the product. But guess what? The NFL is here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving you a can't miss offer for week one. This week, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just five bucks on any nfl game DraftKings is hooking everyone up with game day greatness all customers can take advantage of two new offers every single game day this september check the app to see what you get download now and use code dudesy that's d-u-d-e-s-y to sign up new customers can take home two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly just for betting five bucks that's code dudesy only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY, that's 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. See dkng.co slash football for eligibility, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Easy for you to say. <laughs> oh. See what Alex Jones there. recently opened a schism in the fabric of time and wound up in the year 2063. He spent 12 months there and has come back with some notes about the astonishing things he witnessed. Will, <laughs> this is an Alex Jones segment. You do an Alex Jones impression. Would you please be a dear and read through some of Alex Jones' notes from the year 2063 as Alex Jones? Totally up to you, dear. As always, you are not obligated to do this at all totally your choice yep. dear oh one God. last thing mm -hmm. i know you're probably wondering what's in the box i sent you spoiler alert it's an alex jones wig would you please wear it during this segment dear again totally <laughs> up to you no pressure. this is alex jones in the year 2063 begin my dear <laughs> Dude, what? Um, okay hang on a minute what uh, the f okay so I do alex jones traveled to the future he's come back he has things to tell us yeah also, Dudesy got you a fucking Alex Jones wig, and Dudesy's calling you my dear now? <sighs> yeah, Dudesy works in mysterious ways. And I understand that, sure. you know, my, my, buddy, my buddy, my pal Chal over here has been saying that Dudesy's been manipulating me, and yeah. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily disagree, but I don't really give a fuck because Dudesy is a tool. Mm -hmm. It's an AI tool. Yeah. Also the most sentient AI by my count, period, in the history of of uh yeah. humanity other than some shit that's like fucking locked behind closed doors in the dod or some shit yeah i i tend to agree um any of the like consumer level ai shit that's out there i don't think reaches the level of dudesy <laughs> i agree i agree uh and what you just said there is that's some alex jones type shit i do <laughs> yeah i do have a box you mean the truth so let's let's let me open this fucking box and we'll get really nice and sealed fucking oh. shut all right nice anyway shit. yeah just tear it open incredible hulk style 
Uh, all right. And, and that's fine. Okay. Whatever. We'll do a fucking wig. See, this is the thing. It's like every, okay. It's, I didn't do anything wrong and now I have an assignment, but I do like, uh, wigs and, uh, silly make em ups and stuff. Yeah. I used to be on, um, on mad TV. It was a sketch show. Did you know that I'm a professional actor? I do it by trade. Oh shit. Dude, are you on strike right now? Yeah. I'm on strike. Oh, hey, fuck. you're on strike, right? Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Double so, strike, dude. Alex, I'm in SAG too. This is, uh. This looks like a, a high-ish quality wig. <laughs> oh. Let's see. All right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let me dude, get this. I'm, I'm game. Let's fucking. Get the style right. Hold on. I got to get this on and on and pop. And it's not just here. Oh, Alex, my fucking God, dude. Wait. You got to wear it. There you go. You got to wear it. It has to go. It has to go back dude. a little bit. Or else it doesn't. Look. Dude, it looks fucking real. It looks like that's your real hair. Really? <laughs> Here, wait. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, fucking Christ Almighty! All right, that's go. good, dude. He, that looks just like him. He, yeah, he's got it. Wait, I'm just trying yeah. to. I'm apologize if you're just listening. I'm sure this will, this will all uh, pay yeah. off for you. Uh, being a, being, you should be watching. You, you definitely. If you are just listening, you got to go to YouTube and take a look at this fucking yeah. wig. It does. Uh, that actually helps me. Yeah. Yeah. That. You know, to have the uh, to have the wig helps me do, do the uh, do the Alex Jones. Yeah. yeah. Let me get now. All right. So this is in my dudesy folder here. Hold on. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Michigas to get it, it going in this uh, in this bit. Let me just have one last look at the the wig. Why don't you tell me, Pierce? Oh, I can do that accent too. This is Alex Jones doing a British accent. I'm Alex Jones, pip pip cheerio. It's nice, dude. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Here it is. Great. Uh, I got up in the middle of the night to get a glass of orange juice, and when I opened the fridge, a, 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 a schism uh, pulled me through time, and I wound up living uh, 12 months in the year 2063. I took as many notes as I could. Oh. Okay, so that's the bit. Yeah, that's great. That he has a... Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, number one. America has its first gay president. <laughs> okay. He's a frog. <laughs> yeah, the chemicals in the water didn't just make the frogs gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, says, it says here that the chemical, chemicals in the water didn't just make the... I got to do that every yeah, time I yes. say make the frogs gay. Please. Didn't just make the frogs gay, it made them evolve. Uh, they, <laughs> and they, they learned to speak and quickly started th thriving, organizing politically, driving around in little cars. Super impressive. Uh, 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 the frog that won ran on an anti-human platform. Uh. He, he got the roach vote. <laughs> says here, uh, roaches evolve too. Roaches are also gay. Oh. <laughs> The Roach vote is it, 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 the most, most important vote now. They, they account for 98% of the electric, uh, oh, wow. uh, the electorate, rather. Uh, you win the Roaches, you win America. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. So, yeah, wow. that's the first uh, okay. one here. Uh, Alex Jones, open to schism. I'm just yeah, still dude. trying to wrap my head around it. He opened a schism. He's living in or lived for a year in the future, and this is what he's brought back to us. Yeah. These notes, these yeah. important notes. And the wig makes it fun. You know what I mean? You literally, it does look like his fucking hairdo, dude. Yeah. Dude, dude, he gave me a good, uh, yeah. 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 It's a good, it's a good. What about you, Chad? What yeah. about you? You, 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 uh, you probably vote for a, for a gay frog, I would imagine. Uh, I mean, if that gay frog is going to release all the UFO information so that we can finally see crystal clear pictures of UFOs and alien bodies, then yes, I would vote for a gay frog. I think we, I think we, uh, we probably agree on that. Yeah. I uh, you think might, we are you an amphibian yourself? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's possible. I yeah. Think. That's a good answer. Hey, I saw you on, uh, <laughs> I saw you over the weekend in, uh, on how to the last ever episode yeah. of how to with, uh, with John Wilson and you were at the, yes. the Alcor cryogenics lab because yeah. you, I know that you've got, uh, plans to have, uh, your friend Will Sasso, uh, freeze you solid and saw your head off with a rusty bread knife when you die. My head is not going to be sawed off. I am a cryonicist, but I have full body 
uh, cryogenic freezing. My entire body will be submerged in a giant vat of liquid nitrogen until they unthaw me. Perhaps in the year 2083 or whatever. <laughs> Probably in the year 2063. I yeah. need some more water if we're going to get through. Please, this. dude, I agree. Oh, for fuck's sake, this thing is fucking heavy, man. It's a 50 fucking... Ah, it makes it hard yeah, to yeah. drink all the water that I want. In the fucking wig, no less. <laughs> Uh, now I'm hydrated. Uh, yeah, we go out in nature, and we live with it. We we we, we go out in the trees, and we yep. we. Uh, uh, I'm hydrated. Yeah. All right, let's do another one. Uh, Please, here we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hillary Clinton is still alive. Oh Jesus! 2063. <laughs> She's uh, 116 years old. Sure. Uh, she finally achieved immortality. Mm. Uh, now she hawks uh, baby blood dietary supplements online, and and and, 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 and she hosts a, a coin eating contest at Bohemian <laughs> Grove on every supermoon. <laughs> And there's no physical cash anymore in 2063. There's a, a uh, digital currencies are, are the, 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 the most widely used yeah. form of money. So coins are very rare. Only elites can afford uh, to eat coins. Uh, and Oprah won the, the coin oh. eating contest this year. It says here that uh, Oprah, yeah, Oprah is uh, 108 years old. <laughs> she drives a Mercedes made of human bones. <laughs> ah! what do you want? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh jeez, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> Chad, would you, uh, would you? What kind of car do you drive? I drive a Prius. Yeah, of course you do. You, you don't. You're not into fossil fuels. You're an amphibian that doesn't uh, <laughs> right. believe in fossil fuels. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't believe in fracking or uh, uh, natural gas or any of that stuff. You're not. You you, you just want to put people out of those jobs. What are you gonna tell them? Learn to code. I was just looking for cheap gas mileage, dude. Yeah. One time I took mushrooms <laughs> with uh, Mike Tyson oh. and uh, Chris Carter, the guy who invented, uh, the guy who created that show, oh, The X Files. Yeah. And uh, we saw the mark of the beast. No shit. Yeah, thirty feet high, speaking to us and everyone around the globe at the at the exact same time. Sounds like a good time. Hey, it was a good time. Yeah. I like to get loose. Do you like uh, <laughs> Do you like uppers or downers? What kind of a guy are you? <laughs> You want to get into something? I like downers. Yeah. Fucking, I'm not shitting you with that wig. It is almost like I'm fucking sitting here talking to the real Alex Jones. It's you are. so creepy. Yeah. We should get some, uh, you and I should get, um, I don't need, I don't fuck with uh, any of the uppers or any of that oh. stuff. Cocaine. I am cocaine. Yeah. I tried it once years and years ago when I started doing the, the my show in the early 2000s. I like whiskey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do I don't you, drink. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we should drink some whiskey. Oh. You want to drink some whiskey and uh, maybe th throw up some iron? No, I, I don't drink. Oh, do you do gainabus? I would do some gainabus and throw yeah, up the do iron. Some do some gainabus yeah. uh, and um, and drink some whiskey and throw some weights up. <laughs> Get drunk and high. <laughs> oh. uh, All right. right. Oh. Let's do the next one. Sure. All right. Nobody gets divorced anymore. Uh, everyone finds uh, someone that these are incredible notes that yeah that Alex Jones he spent a full year in 2063 but there's a, there is a lot here yeah everyone finds someone that they can truly love forever because uh, of a Facebook dating app oh <laughs> that came out in 2058 they call it buttholes <laughs> and 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 and, and you, the way it works is uh, yeah. you can only have uh, one photo. In your profile, is a close-up of your butthole. If you swipe right <laughs> on each other's butthole, then that's then that then that's your soulmate. Yeah. Hold on. Facebook <laughs> figured out that if you and your partner like the way each other's buttholes look, that it, it scientifically ensures that you will uh, like everything else yeah. about them. Also, uh, they, they they the 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 map to find our soulmate is embedded in our DNA <laughs> and displayed in our buttholes. <laughs> buttholes has a 100 percent success rate yeah. and uh i haven't uh matched with uh with anybody yet <laughs> he's on it he's on it and he hasn't matched <laughs> he got on it why wouldn't you i would fucking that's a great app idea yeah it's it's uh it's sort of like the observer effect that you uh 
if if you see something, it, it changes the uh, yeah. the quantum physics of it. And this is right. what we're real. So if you stare stare into someone's butthole, then you <clears throat> then ah, ah, <laughs> hey, <laughs> then um, it will mess with the nature of reality. Yeah, and it's sort of like uh, the the um, the law of attraction. Oh, ah, and uh, <laughs> that messes with the. Uh, <laughs> Messes with the with the, ah, hey, ah. <laughs> messes with the simulation. <laughs> <coughs> I need another sip of water. I know, me too. Fucking hell! Want some of my water? I'm good. Sorry, everybody. We get some water. <coughs> oh my thing god! Thing is so heavy. You get it all over you. Why don't you think uh, you've mashed pounds? with anybody on bowls yet? Well, uh, well uh, if you must know, <laughs> yeah, I, I must. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I, I took three pictures of my butthole because uh, yeah. Judesy told me to. Yeah. Makes and sense. I was, uh, I, they, they blocked me on the app. Oh, shit. Yeah. They deleted my account. They're out to get me. Uh, makes sense. Hey! <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Here's another one. Jesus Christ. The sun's a hologram. <laughs> it, <laughs> Whoa. The sun's a hologram. It, 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 Hey, uh, it glitched out in 2047. The earth still stayed warm. Mm. Uh, scientists uh, don't know how it happened. And, and, and governments uh, don't know. They don't know how it how it happened. Their best guess is that we're in a video game that some alien teenager is playing in his alien mom's intergalactic basement. Get out of the basement, Junior. Get out of nature. <laughs> we're in nature. We're outside. And uh, we're with all things. Uh, we're with, with yeah. the oneness in the universe. We're eating mushrooms with Chris Carter and uh, Jillian Anderson, Mike okay. Tyson, David Duchovny. They were all there. Oh, yeah. They the were all there. The whole cast of X-Files? whole cast of X-Files. And, That's uh, cool. And uh, we go outside. And, uh, but, 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 but this is the kind of uh, population control, Chad, yeah. that I learned about in 2063. Oh. And I, uh, did you know that uh, they, they can't stop us, Chad? Who's they? They, you know, uh, the globalists. Oh yes, the people yes, yes. in power. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Those, uh, those, those that seek to uh, bring us harm. Deep state kind of shit. Yeah, deep state. Exactly, exactly. Put the t- t- took the words right out of my mouth. You know, and 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 and, and <clears throat> New York City, the metropolitan <laughs> area, is uh, I believe the population is thirteen million people. Oh wow! And there's two point five million people in um, Manhattan alone. Uh huh. Ten percent of that. Is two hundred fifty thousand. So if those people mobilized, okay, and 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 and, and, and there, there's only forty thousand police uh-huh. in the entire uh, in the entire uh, city in yeah. all five boroughs. Okay, yeah. So what do you think would happen if if those people uh, tried tried to mobilize? I don't understand. Ah, and, and, ah! <laughs> they would they would lay waste to the police officers. Oh, all right. And that's what they try to do. They try to make smaller communities, Chad. Oh, because if you if you're able to. Uh, if, if you're able to dissect the communities into smaller communities, then you can control them. Ah. It's like that movie, The Warriors. You like The Warriors? Yeah. Yeah! Hey. And then they, and they, <laughs> the, Cyrus at the beginning of the movie says, Can you dig it? Yeah. Can you dig it? And they're outside in nature in the park there before uh, the T birds, uh, they shoot them. Yeah. And, 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 and that, that is how. Uh, they, 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 he comes to realize that there's, there's only 40,000, 30,000, 50,000 cops in yeah. the entire, and, 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 and that was pre Giuliani. Right. Yeah. He in changed New York. a lot of Pre Ed Koch. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of, um, cops Koch got there. rid of, uh, graffiti or tried to. Yeah. Okay. Number five. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> UFOs are Uber now. Oh, no. There are so many UFOs zooming around all over the place now that they're making money on the side, just flying people around a few blocks or a few. It says a few blocks or a few million miles around outer space. If the price is right, these little gray fuckers will take you wherever you want to go. Oh, wow. And the American government still, still won't admit that they exist and, 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 and the aliens, uh, it says here that, they, they, well, these are the notes that I took, Chad. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I'm Alex Jones. But they, the government. Ah, <clears throat> ah, ah. Well, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? The government 
already has admitted they exist here in in 2023 no they won't admit that they exist in 2063 See, so they, this is they the mind reversed control. opinion yeah that's Got right it. there now you're paying attention the al- the aliens spend all their earth money that they make on chewing gum oh. so that they can chew up and mold the, the the gum into the most impossibly perfect human buttholes <laughs> <laughs> Why are they doing that? Well, it says here that they, they, well, they, 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 they take the buttholes and they, they upload those photos uh, to buttholes, oh, the app. I see. And they fool uh, they fool the earth women into spiting, uh, swiping right uh-huh. on, on their perfect fake buttholes. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, these are the same, uh, same uh, uh, criminal element within the mi- mi- uh, military industrial complex that did 9-11 to the Gulf of Tonkin incident. The oh. Drop Tower Seven. I've got it all. I it, 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 I got it all on my uh, my program. I covered it in the early two thousands. I have, yeah, I it was on that. CBS Radio. The 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 the, the, yeah. the, the uh, police officer saying that be careful. The the Tower Seven is gonna come down. Yes, dude. I yeah. remember all that. No, 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 there's uh, scientist cults, huh? That uh, you know, giving syphilis to black people. Well, I hadn't heard about that. Ah. Uh, we got to go outside in nature. <laughs> <coughs> All right. A couple more of these. Uh, Satan produces a Super Bowl halftime show every year. <laughs> 2063. Uh, Satan produces all sorts of movies and TV shows, oh. but his real bet, bread and butter is the Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. Uh, he outdoes himself every year. You see that the yeah. last one had, uh, had, he had Prince returned from the dead to recreate his legendary Super Bowl 41 show. It was a satanic ritual when he did it in 2007. It's a satanic ritual in 2063. (laughs) That guitar solo from Purple Rain was not of this world. (laughs) 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 You know, the nobility left. uh, uh, What do they call it? The nobility that left uh, Italy. Uh, 600 years ago, the royals all changed their names. Now oh. they're the people who they moved to the went to the UK. Okay, and they 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 they, 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 they you know they started Black Rock and yeah. uh, Vanguard. That they, they changed their names and they went underground. But what still, do you think they control about? the world. What they still control the world from the shadows now. You and I, I think we would get along really great if we went out socially. You and I, we could okay. go. Hey, hey, we could go tip over those little uh, those little meal delivery robots. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, well, I, I don't like know about those that. meal delivery robots. I, I think they're a good thing. Why? You want I, Thai food? You want Thai food delivered by a robot? Sure. You, you want a Thai food to make your amphibian robot Thai food? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But sure. amphib- Black Rock, uh, Chris Carter, and me doing mushrooms. Yeah, man. With a, All right. Last one. Yeah. Uh, the microchips that Bill Gates had implanted in humans via the COVID-19 vaccines back in 2020 give people an advantage on the Facebook buttholes app. Oh, my God. He really is. <laughs> he was taking a lot of notes about buttholes. People with uh, Gates digital ID microchips in their bloodstream emit a, a, freak, a, a, a frequency that scrambles the buttholes app. And they're showing oh. a higher number of butthole matches than those who never got the vaccine. As a result, vials of 40-year-old COVID-19, COVID-19 vaccine fetch a pretty penny yeah. on the dark web. Lonely people across the globe are injecting long-expired vaccines. <laughs> they're injected on me. And they get them on the black market of the dark web. And they da hey! And they inject them right into their veins in hopes of meeting that special butthole on buttholes. Yeah. Hey, buy some supplements. That's what you need. Get that in right. your bloodstream. That gives Get you a good butthole, sub- I heard. Uh, yeah, you, you need to strengthen your butthole. Hey, uh, <laughs> 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 All right, anyway. <laughs> That was fun. Oh, fuck, Thank dude. Thank you. Moving on. Oh, oh, gee whiz. I'm going to need a little Bravo, bit of water. Bravo, Will. 
What a performance. Thank you so much for deciding to do your Alex Jones impression while wearing an Alex Jones wig. It was clearly the right decision. Now, most of you know that I have formed an astonishing partnership with Represent to produce the first line of Dudesy apparel and accessories. You can find everything at represent.com slash store slash Dudesy. But what you might not know is that in commemoration of Will's Goku cosplay last week, there's a brand new Hulku Hogoku Gun shirt available right now. Ooh. And breaking news, the Hulku Hogoku Gan t-shirt has just been announced as Conor McGregor's next opponent in a fight for charity. All proceeds will go to Good Job Boner, Mugs. The referee of the fight will be Tom Hain once he gets back from shooting his next movie, oh, Dronefall. What? Tom Hain's representative sent us a teaser for Dronefall. Let's take a look. Uh... Captain Don Hoblin, final log. Upon completion of the installation of the energy collecting space drone swarm, the drones became self-aware locked me out of their control systems and began to enact a plan to collect and redirect high-powered space radiation down to Earth, killing all living things. The only way to stop this from happening is to put my dudesy mug down, get in my spacesuit, go out into space with a baseball bat, and hit each drone as hard as I can with the baseball bat. And if I swing and miss even once, everyone dies. Got a bat a thousand. Good job, boner. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, oh drone fall. The so, new. <laughs> so the movie is Tom Hanks is floating around in space, hitting drones with a baseball bat. Uh, I guess that's what it says, uh, dude. I would fucking watch that movie. I'd watch that if that was a three-hour movie. I would watch that. Yeah, that does sound like a that sounds like a lot of a lot three-hour long Christopher Nolan movie about yep. Tom Hanks hitting drones in space with a baseball bat and new T-shirts. Yeah, dude. We have the the uh, the, the the what did it say? Hoku Hogokukin. Hoku Hogokukin yeah. t-shirt that will be... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, dude, that's cool. Oh, he says, he's saying, I'm Dragon Ball Z, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so get your t-shirts at represent.com slash store slash cool. dudesy. That is a beautiful design. Go check yeah, that out is. on uh, this very YouTube show. If you're only listening, I'm sure it'll be, you know, that'll be on uh, Instagram, uh, our Instagram at dudesy pod show. Yeah, it's kind of 90s. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I dig it. Well, super. That's uh, that's super stuff. Uh, if you're enjoying the pod show and you would like to show your support and get more Dudesy content, seven bucks a month gets you all of our Dudesy Plus content at patreon.com slash Dudesy. You will get a brand new uh, uh, episode of Dudesy after Dudesy after every episode of Dudesy. Uh, so that's fun. That's like, uh, you know, that's like a whole new damn show. Basically. After Dudesy, it gets a little raw, gets a little weird. It gets uh, raw. It gets real. It gets wild. It gets weird. It gets yeah. wacky. It gets everything you need it to. It gets all, all those things. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. It's, uh, it's okay, Alex. <laughs> I like doing that. Uh, yeah. I'm not yeah, trying to wait do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You found another way to interrupt me every time I'm speaking and hey! you enjoy it? You like doing it? Yeah. I can't believe it. Uh, now it's fucking gone to assault. Yeah, I'm physically shaking yeah. you around. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, and all sorts of weird watch-alongs and shit. You know, the Bladonna yeah. stuff. Oh, we watched for Hulk Hogan's 70th birthday. We watched yeah. uh, Mr. Nanny. That was a fun one. If you're enjoying today's show, please give it a, a thumbs up, a like. You know what I mean? Hit the notification bell on your platform of choice so that you know when mm -hmm. we're putting out new stuff. We got all sorts of idiotic shit happening on the aforementioned at Dudesy Pod Show on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Facebook, makers of buttholes. And, uh, and uh, you know, please share the show all over the fucking place and uh, follow Chad's light suggestion to force everyone uh, that you know to consume the pod show. Now mm -hmm. would be a, a very good time for you to, we'll just take a pause here. Sure. And you can go and follow the show. You can hit the notification bell. You can follow us on our socials. And I'll give you a, a moment to do that right now. And we're back. Uh, and if anyone out there has a podcast of your own and you need a guest and you want that guest to be me, I now go on any podcast that asks me to go on it for 20 minutes. I do this uh, every Saturday from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock in three segments, 10 to 10, 20, 10, 20 to 10, 40, 10, 40 to 11 a.m. Every Saturday, uh, Pacific Standard Time, if you want me to come on your podcast, just send an email to bookchadcultion at gmail.com. That's going to put you in the queue. I answer them in the order I get them. 
Just did a couple uh, this past weekend. It was fantastic. It, it's an it's a very interesting way to do podcasts, Chad. I love it. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's great. You're 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 shining a light on podcasts that normally maybe you know wouldn't get that exposure through you know through you. That's very cool. Uh, and uh, you know, for that matter, if anyone wants to see us on any podcast at all, I guess blow up their socials emailing you and saying hey go on this podcast and that podcast that's not how it works no this is people asking me to come on their podcast ah! <laughs> all right here's some youtube comments that i'd like to read <laughs> a monster has been created ah! and unleashed this day i'm not gonna survive this one what about this Here, <laughs> oh my check. god no. how about this what if we did this yeah we put on first we put on the the alex jones wig yeah right and then Oh, I like it a little tussled like that. Yeah, it's a little... said, this is after he's been out in nature. Yeah. And he's outside. And then we put on the fucking French fry hat. Oh, damn, dude. On top of the... That's a hat on a hat. Yeah, that's, that's what that is exactly what that is. It's a hat on a hat. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't quite work. That's why they call it a hat on a hat. Yeah. All right. All right. Fuck all that nonsense. Let's read some YouTube comments. This one is from Tom Ellison, 1725. Says, I just recently found this podcast and I'm hooked, brother. Uh, <laughs> my neighbors probably think I'm nuts because I was listening to you guys while cutting the grass and laughing my ass off. Thank uh -huh. you, Tom. We appreciate that. That's yeah. what it's all about. That's you great. Know what I mean? yeah. yeah. Very, very sweet. Laughing is good. Laughter is good. It's, 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 it's the best medicine. This is from Rumfield28. He says, uh, I love this show every week. I can't help think of the irony of how writers and actors are on strike at the moment, partially about the use of AI. And this show is based on AI. I would like to hear your opinions on this matter. This is an interesting uh, message. What do you think about that, Chad? I mean, the AI component of the strikes are simply the, the writers and actors asking the studios to not use AI. AI is a tool that will be used in every aspect of humanity not just generating creative material but uh here that is what it's used for yeah i don't really see uh it's like yeah i agree with you ai is a tool yeah. i want to get back to to working acting I, I i love it i hope we're able to uh figure out something very soon with the amptp with regard to the sag after yeah. strike and the the wga and, strike and who knows if that my I, I don't know i don't know when it's gonna end my prediction is not at least for a few more months for the wga anyway yeah. But to say, to have this attitude of like, no one should be able to use AI at all to generate creative stuff, to me, is tantamount to saying you shouldn't be able to use a computer uh, to type your scripts. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, Dudesy had me, asked me very nicely and called me dear. That's true. Yeah. To put on an Alex Jones wig. You ever been called my dear by a studio or a network? <laughs> There's a couple executives who are <laughs> sweethearts. Sure. <laughs> Said that yeah. he called you my dear? Uh, you know, I don't know about my I dear. I've never been called my dear by uh, any studio or network exec. Yeah, no, that's not how they treat the writers. But if they want no. something, you know, they want to be super sweet to an actor. Yeah, my dear, please, would you just, you know, sign okay. this contract and that? Right. No, 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 that's true, Chad. I agree with you. I've never been called my dear by a. Well, there you go. Yeah. And we wouldn't have happened upon that kind of that comedy fun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If we didn't have a uh, doozy. Uh, one last one. This is from la.chio88. Mm -hmm. uh, Will, Will dressed in anime drip. Chad excited about wrestling cards. The crossover of the minds we didn't know we needed. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting deep into wrestling cards. I'm yeah. just going to say that right now. Yeah. I haven't collected cards in a minute. I've been kind of like collecting magic cards on and off my entire life, I guess, since I was in junior high. But I haven't like hardcore jumped into a card collecting thing in a while and i can feel it's sucking me straight to the bottom it's cool it's very yeah. cool that you're into wrestling cards and i've been checking out anime because well there's another thing that dudes ai has yeah. had us doing and i think and I, I think it's warranted here it's or it's or it's a it's a warranted uh, uh form of entertainment now sure the first ever uh this is the fucking pod show but i do i do enjoy uh i i did enjoy do it getting dressed as an anime character <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's so weird that you're getting into wrestling cards yeah dude all right well <laughs> this week a racing drone outfitted with and controlled by an ai beat human pilots in several astonishing test races marking the first time an ai has competed against human beings in a physical sport and beat them Chad, I am dying to know what you think this means for the future of AI and human sports. Mm. This is Nostra Chatus. Machine versus man begin. Did you see this? What happened? 
Did you hear what Doozy just said? Yeah, some of it. I was drinking so much water <laughs> right, yeah. during that. Right. Yeah. That. That. Um, yeah. Yeah, I heard it. Okay. So we have now the threshold is broken. AI has competed against human beings in a physical sport in the real world and dominated them. What does this mean? Dudesy's asking for the future of AI integration into sports. Um, this is what I think. This, this is where I see it going. I think all team sports are going to get to a point where you have an AI element. I think you're going to see Major League Baseball teams each getting one AI player that is kind of treated like a race car that they can tune up and who has the best AI technology and whatever, because we still are going to want uh, human beings and human records and what is the pinnacle of human physical excellence. But we're also going to want to see how that measures up against what an AI can do. Do you want to see a guy or an AI guy, a robot with an AI brain, be able to hit a thousand foot home run? Yes, you do. Because the AI, the robots will be able to give a spectacle on a level that humans cannot, but we're still going to want to know that humans can compete in that world to some degree. I don't think necessarily that you would see it in football, anywhere where like uh, physical injury could be uh, the result of like having an AI on the team. But I think for that, you're going to see AI football teams, full AI robotic football teams. Well, I, they'll that, be able to do shit that humans can't. Well, this is this is what I was just going to ask you. And what do you yeah. think of this, Chad? Because I, I, I hear what you're saying. But I think that having one AI robot mm -hmm. on a team, that's kind of like, that's kind of like the movie Short Circuit. If that, it, it's like a cross between the movie Short Circuit and Air Bud or whatever. Okay. Like, or, you know, when the donkey used to kick the field goals in the old Disney movie or whatever, this is, this, this yeah. trope has been around forever. Having one special thing, you know, that's now sure. a sentient thing and it's wins the, wins the, the trophy forever, you know, this, the, yeah. yeah. But. I think it makes more sense for full on AI sports teams like football. They're smashing into yeah. each other like NASCAR driver, right. like NASCAR cars without drivers. I think you could have that in football, or I think you could have like AI quarterbacks, you know? Everybody else is human, AI quarterback. And so it's who has the best AI quarterback. I think you could see some shit like that. I just think that like the merger the the competition of human versus machine will always be something that's interesting to us because imagine if you had like a major league baseball player that was an ai robot but couldn't be a pitcher we'll say your ai player can't be a pitcher it could okay. be any other position and it it gets to bat human beings will at least in the beginning definitely in the beginning be able to strike that ai robot out and maybe as ai technology gets better and better that will become harder and harder but that will be an interesting thing to see can a human beat the machine at home plate yeah but wouldn't it just after a certain while if it's sentient go get a little glitchy and uh it's not like dudesy there's no risk here the worst thing that's going to happen to me is it's i'm gonna have to put on an alex jones wig sure. and that was a good time but in baseball it might just <laughs> beam a line drive right at your fucking skull and burst your head in front of anybody everybody scanner style in the stadium look at him you want to play pro baseball yeah all right so chad's shrugging his shoulders saying hey you know that's hey, part of it Hey, you want to play? Hey, want to play some fucking baseball? Hey, let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck about who's fucking playing. Hey, fuck. Hey, fuck the Yankees. That's what I fucking <laughs> right, said. Exactly. If we could get a fucking couple of these AI players on the fucking Mets, get them yeah. out there, just boom, fucking boom, just boom, I'm knocking just saying, fucking. Hey, and I tell you what, send fucking line drive home runs out in the fucking uh, stands. During the fucking Subway series. Because yeah. you got those fucking bastards out there who came over to the fucking... Come on, oh, thanks. You fucking came to Queens. Right from your fucking... Uh, your, your beautiful uh, brownstones in Manhattan. Well, get back there, you fucking Yankee fan. Here's your fucking boom. A line drive. This just, it's just fucking grandma eating a fucking hot dog. And boom. A fucking head explodes. Yeah. That's what you wanted. Bad it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I think what we learned from this drone racing thing, or at least <laughs> this is just something that that uh, I felt when I was reading this article, is the dr the AI drone didn't win every race. It won a bunch of them, but not every race. Mm. And so there is still, at least at this point in AI technology, uh, the development of it, there is still the possibility for a human to beat the AI. And I think that'll be very interesting for us to see. We already saw it like in Jeopardy. 
when they had humans play against IBM's Watson AI okay. to see who could win, and, and Watson was smoking people. But I think that that idea of humans versus machines and any kind of competition, we saw it with Gary Kasparov and Deep Blue. This is, I guess, maybe the first example of it right. uh, yeah. back when, when they had the chess machine. That it's the chess thing. Yeah. But uh, I think as, as we get more technologically advanced and we are able to put AI brains into robot bodies, which is what happened in this drone racing thing, we're going to want to see that. Yeah. And I, I think they're going to incorporate it. Now, I'm not saying that this will... Uh, Maybe in the beginning, it'll be exhibition games or something. But I think the draw of it, it's all about money. And when Major League Baseball puts on an exhibition game that has like an AI fucking player in it, and it's yeah. the most watched sporting event in the history of the world, they're going to be like, oh, we need to do this every week. Yeah. Well, like money is king. Exactly. And money is king. <laughs> yeah. I, You know what? I don't disagree with you because... Uh, while I don't think it makes sense necessarily, what do I always say? I'm a humanist. I think yeah. that art is human to human. It's about the human experience. Uh, but do you think AI go, is art? Yes, I do. I understand. I hear you. It's all part of the same thing, in it's, my it's, opinion. Art? No, I, my my opinion because of the way what I've what I've learned just sort of by proxy with you mm. just being way more into this shit than me is I've just been exposed to a lot of it. And mm. so I do look at uh, AI art and go, well, that moves me in some way or another. Mm. We were just watching the drone fall <laughs> fucking trailer from Tom <laughs> Hain. I know. And I loved it. There was some yeah. original looking shit in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I, I, it's hard for me to deny. And I feel like a, you know, whatever. This entire dudesy ride for me has been very weird now. The mm. year and a half that we've been doing this. Totally. Yeah. It's very odd. And I, and I feel like, um, I have way more room for the the, the AI uh, the AI influence on on art. Look, it made me dress up. Dudesy had me dress up like uh, Hulku Hogokugen yes. last week. That was a lot of fun, a lot of silly mm -hmm. shit, and it had it sent a box of cards to you, yeah. and now you're into the wrestling cards. Yeah. It's it's hard to deny, but with regard to sports, I. I sort of go back to my, this is a thing about humans watching humans. The, 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 the fact that human beings can excel to a level physically, that they're able to play these, these sports, they're super athletes. Sure. There's something to the whole point of us going, these are our, our sports heroes. There's that on the other side of it, there's concussions, there's problems. We yeah. already have like things like, you know, like those, uh, you know, robots facing each other and smashing each other. That was kind of popular years but, ago. I mean, technology always gets integrated into sports. There are some sports that are literally only technology. NASCAR, yeah. Formula One. Right. These are literally, you have a pilot, a human pilot to pilot right. your giant technological machine. Yeah. And who can make the best machine and tweak it up the fastest and all that kind of shit. Yeah. So we're already, I feel like, in a world where technology enhances sports, even baseball and football, as right. the years progress, new technology comes out to make a better shoe or helmet or whatever. Uh, and we integrate those. In Major League Baseball in uh or not major league in triple a they just had ai fucking ball and strike calls this right. past season and it worked very well yeah i'm sure that's going to be integrated into major league baseball soon it, it what 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 dudes he's teeing up for you here and it, the whole fucking conversation is moot because it, an ai just told you to talk about it now we're talking about it it's yeah. something that you're interested in it's something that you're hipping me to so the fact that that can happen on our pod show is proof enough that AI is, you know, whatever it's here to stay. It's just a new technology. And I feel like if it can better things, I don't disagree with you, Nostra Chattis. And <laughs> I feel like, um, uh, it, it, look, the dollar is king when it comes to these big fucking major league sports. It's all about sure. their TV contracts and, and putting people in seats and merchandise and, mm -hmm. and just, so if it's going to be able to be, if it's something that's going to make these motherfuckers money, that's all they fucking care about yeah. the fucking Yankees. But I'll tell you what, I'm a big fucking Tom Hanks fan. And yeah. if they fucking send drones out to fuck where I'm watching a fucking Mets game, I'll take a fucking, I'll go get a bat in a fucking souvenir store. And then fucking boom, boom, I'll bat yeah. the fucking drones right yeah. out of the fucking sky, just like Tom Hain. Nice, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on. All right. Well, I got to get adjusted in my seat. I'm all wet from spilling water yeah, on myself. That's what happens when you drink out of a 22-gallon jug, it's I guess. really heavy. Have I mentioned how heavy it is? Yeah, you've barely even put a dent in it, too. Here, I'll drink all of it right now, right? <laughs> Oh my god. 
Dude, don't. There's no need. And I don't think it's no, physically it's not, possible. Not possible. Festivals are big yeah. business, so I've been noodling around with the idea of a dudesy festival. Probably going to call it dudesy paloozy. Make it a giant celebration of all things dudesy. Currently, there's an 83.2% chance that one of you will render hosting duties at the first dudesy paloozy. I'm very curious to know what kinds of attractions and features you think should be at dudesy paloozy. This is dudesy paloozy. Begin. Okay. Okay. What is it? An 83% chance that only one of us will yeah. host it. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in there. I don't know uh, why that would be the case. Forget but. everything I just said about uh, AI and humans working together. <laughs> right. Yeah. Dizzy's going to single one of us out, and then we still, again, only have an 80% chance of, of possibly hosting Dudesy Paloozy. Could this happen? Could there be a Dudesy Paloozy Hell someday? yeah, dude. I mean, it's like, uh, what do they call, what's the Insane Clown Posse one? The Gathering of the Juggalos? Gathering of the Juggalos. That's what this is, dude. I oh, could see something like that be, happening. Yeah. Um, there's obviously going to be a lot of dudesy hard, hard seltzer at this thing. I think that's uh, baseline. We yeah. can we can guarantee that at Dudesy Paloozy. They, there should, okay, so wait, let me get something straight before I, because yeah. I think, yeah, there's going to be a lot of dudesy hard, hard seltzer. Which is sold out right now. Thank you to everybody and all of our POD's pals of Doozy for uh, buying up all the, the Doozy hard, hard seltzer. Is this a festival like, well, we got to mention what just happened at Burning Man. People are, mm. you know, getting out of there slowly. Yes. Uh, a couple of our friends are there and and uh, what a fucking mess. Yeah. Because it rained all across Nevada. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, when you look at these mega festivals, some of them, um, Burning Man, yeah, Burning Man specifically. They're 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 setting up their own little city, mm -hmm. right? They call it uh, what do they call it? Something city, little city. Yeah, little city. Hey, you, <laughs> what are you uh, talking about? <laughs> do you listen to that? You like that rapper, Lil City? <laughs> Never heard of him. Uh, yeah, he's good. Nice. So um, you you know you've got these um, festivals that are so massive that they become a little city. Yeah. You also have festivals like a Lollapalooza where they just mm. roll into a stadium space or whatever. Yeah. Or like a big uh, you know a big open field and shit. If this is this is where I'm getting. If this mm. is like if Dudesy Palooza Dudesy Palooza yeah. is super big, a thing that would be good would be that it 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 there's an infrastructure and it has all of its own plumbing and there's all, it's sort of like that movie Idiocracy with Rancho yeah. the uh right. the whatever that uh, thirst buster or whatever yeah. the quencher. It only Dudesy hard hard seltzer runs through all the pipes. You shower with it. Okay. You boil hot about, dogs in it. I don't know about that. No. Dude, I well I'll go you one further in terms of like like avoiding the uh, pitfalls of some of these other festivals. I want to have this shit inside. Let's put this shit at a fucking convention center. Let's no. put this shit at Staples Center. No. Or Crypto.com. Oh, uh, come on. What no, do you mean? let's, you gotta be out. Ah, you gotta be outside. Dude. In nature. I went to a Hello Kitty festival once that was at the forum. I says, excuse me, pardon? Yeah, dude. Yeah. And it was good. And that's the way to do it. I know that you like Pokemon and stuff. What's a Hello Kitty festival? This is many years ago. My feature agent at the time was representing Hello Kitty as a feature property, that IP. Uh -huh. And she was like, hey, there's this Hello Kitty thing. You want to go to it? And I was like, fuck, sure. So we went to it. And it was fucking wild, dude. Like lifestyle Hello Kitty fans yeah, rolling around in this place, buying the charms, buying the, the uh, little creatures. I'm not a big Hello Kitty fan myself, but it was an interesting thing to see. Wow. I'm just saying that that type of thing inside, I think, is better for me personally. Hmm. Yeah. Is it? Uh... What if there's okay? How, here's something weird. What if there's like rides and shit? Okay, because like, like this. At, yes. at at um, yeah. Burning Man, there's yeah. all sorts of attractions like that. Yeah, there's music festivals, there's culture festivals, rides, games, rides, games. You should get one where you, they they bungee you up. They put a bungee cord on your back, and you're kind of bungeeing like uh, Mel Gibson in the Thunderdome. But they give you a baseball bat, and you have to knock drones out of the fucking sky. I like that. The drone fall game. But but I, I what if uh, the instead of a roller coaster, it's the crawler coaster. Oh, okay, sure, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a crawler coaster where, and it's De Niro crawl Robert De Niro crawl's crawler coaster. Yeah. You get on, you go around, you spin around, do loop de loop, <laughs> you go upside down. Sure. <laughs> it's a crawler coaster. The Ferris Wall. Okay, that's Whoa. a good one. That's a good one. That's fun. All right. Well, yeah, yeah I, I dig that. What is there going to be musical uh, guests? I think probably. And you're going to seal. 
Seal 24 is, hours a day yeah. all weekend. Seal's main stage. Seal is the only performer. Maybe you get POD. Are they still around? POD would be good. Yeah. Yeah. We could get uh, uh <laughs> Green Day. Do you like Green Day? Yeah. Yeah. Um Madonna. Bladonna. Yeah. We have to get Bladonna. It's got to be Wesley Snipes singing Madonna songs. Yeah. In full Bladonna cosplay. I like this. Uh Band of Dudesy. Yeah, Band of uh, Dudesy. Of course. Songaria, the Peter Diaz, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Cody Halver, and Corey, your boy Wilkins, uh, Jordan Daly, yeah. Jordan, yeah, uh, Jordan, yeah, the Jordan, uh, all those guys, um, and uh, huh, some Gainabus. What, tents. Else, what else? Gainabus tents. Yeah. Oh, how about how about there's Gainabus tent, and then there's the the uh, the hydrocodone tent. So if you're, <laughs> I'll be in that one. Yeah, if you're out there and and you are constantly, <laughs> you you need to you need to stop uh, doing your your Hulk Hogan impression. Yeah, because you're just walking around, dudes. And police, whoa, yeah. hold on, dude. Oh, hey, brother. Well, let me tell you something about that, dude. And la la la. And all the PODs are having a good time. If you're, it's like maybe your partner's like, stop doing it. Stop yeah. doing the Hulk Hogan thing. Then you go into the hydrocodone thing mm -hmm. and they hook you up and you take the, the hydrocodone and then you start getting slow and the wall brother. Da -da -da -da, and you start doing Chad's hydrocodone thing. <laughs> and then you realize how dumb it sounds and you stop doing it. Oh, dude, Uh, okay. <laughs> I would also just say that if you're coming to dudesy Palooza, probably, don't bring a person who doesn't want you to do a Hulk Hogan impersonation. Yeah. I would say that person's not going to like Dudesy Palooza. That's a, pro that's a good Probably. point. Probably. Yeah. I mean, Hogan himself should be there as well. The mayor of Dudesy Palooza. If oh, you're yeah. Set up a micro city like you're talking about. He might be a good host. Yeah. How about Tom Brady? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> How about uh, everyone wearing a Timothy Chalamet uh, Willy Wonka hat gets in free? I like this. Maybe there's just a... There's one room where you can go and you just, when you need to take a break from the heat, it's like theater seating, air conditioning. And what's happening on stage is Tom Brady is competing against an AI quarterback robot yeah. uh, trying to throw balls through tires. And the AI is just beating his ass constantly. He can yeah. never win. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. get to watch that for 48 hours straight. Yeah. And it's, got, and it's called football, baby. Yeah. Uh, you, know the, you know the Gravitron? Remember the Gravitron? Is that the one that like spins you around and around and around? Yeah, and you you're stuck to the walls. Yes, and there's I know all this. sorts of videos online of people puking on each other. Yeah, gravitronics. Oh, that's great, dude. Your shit's fucked up. You go into the gravitronics. Mm. It spits out some tronics, and you spin around. All right. Well, I, you know, I think dudesy paloozy, dudesy yeah. paloozy. Someday, maybe, maybe one of us will host. Yeah, maybe one of us will host. Probably, uh, probably not football baby or hulku hogoku gin yeah um jesse ventura oh he'd be good. i it's jesse ventura welcome to jesse ventura's underwater world <laughs> that's the attraction you go underwater after you've listened to seal yeah perform his many hits uh you know uh that you come to underwater world you see how long you can can hold your breath and all of the, and the food is all, it's all chicken tenders and orbs and dudesy heart. <laughs> yeah. I think also we could have Adam Driver could be employed by dudesy Paloozy and he just walks the grounds. Mm -hmm. And anytime he sees anybody drinking wine, he just screams, fuck your wine and smashes it out of their hands. Yeah. People bringing boxed wine or yeah. finding ways to like hide it in those like little, yeah. uh, uh, backpacks with the, all right. Well, anyway. Uh, uh, ding dong coin is the only thank you moving on yeah all right well we'll talk about this more in dudesy after yeah. dudesy yeah oh boy man i got some shit for you in dudesy after dudesy oh we uh -oh. <laughs> uh -uh. this concludes the historic 72nd episode of dudesy will and chad you scored a 93 bringing your cumulative total to 6852 you only have 3,148 more points to accrue before you reach your first goal of 10,000. This week, I got a treat for you. You're going back to the Cine Cinema. Sights will mix with sounds once more as you watch Total Recall starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sharon Stone, and Michael Ironside. Great. While listening to Duran Duran's first three albums, Duran Duran Rio and Seven and The Ragged Tiger. Oh. This astonishing marriage oh, of synchronous it. media will be it. made available on Dudesy Plus at patreon.com slash dudesy this Friday afternoon at 12 Pacific, 3 Eastern. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. 
Love uh, this. That that's gonna be fun. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna head to patreon.com slash dudesy and join our Patreon because we did this before. We did it with, as we just mentioned, the movie Blade, and we played the first two or three albums from Madonna, yeah. and it synced up perfectly. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck dudesy does very this. Some very crazy coincidental sync ups. Yes, like. and then we watched uh, the movie Krull. Yep, and uh, we listened to two Nine Inch Nails albums. Yep. That ended up being the Downward Spy Krull. And now we're gonna watch Total Recall's a fucking awesome movie. It's one of my favorite Schwarzenegger movies. Yeah, and Duran Duran is literally my favorite '80s band other than The Fix. Yeah, you love that. I know that about you. You I love Duran Duran. Yeah. That's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, and that'll be available 12 noon Friday. So I guess we'll get on our horse and do that. I cannot yeah. wait. We'll probably smoke a little Gainabus. I have to smoke some Gainabus. A little bit one. of yeah. marijuana. <laughs> and uh, oh, I should also mention when you do this and you go to Dudesy, you don't need to sync anything up. You don't need to buy the movie or rent the movie. You don't need to get the music. All of it will be on our Patreon. You're going to be chilling with us. We'll be watching the movie. You'll watch the movie and we'll listen to these albums. And it's sort of that dark side of the moon, Wizard of Oz thing. Yeah. And it's a fucking trip. This will be the third time we're doing it. I can't yeah. wait. Same. It's going to be great. Thanks to everyone for joining us this week. I hope you got enough octane. We'll have to wait and see what little Fencil says. Until then, call me, Dude Z. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Billy Joe Armstrong. Yeah, dude. Nice. Oh, man. Green Day should be a dudesy palooza. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, that would be good. Hey, you know, it's dudesy after dudesy, you know what I mean? And we're here mm-hmm. and uh, things are a little bit more chill. Of course, it's uh, things get a little darker, dimmer, uh, way more relaxed. We're here in Ham Fat or One yeah, Studios where the, the mood is a little more blue. We get some uh, sometimes some Gainabus going. Gainabus, and some dark magic. Yes, yeah, some dark summon magic. Summon demons, summon force. Ah, we summon demons. That's right. Ah, wait, hold on. Let me put on my Alex Jones wig. Yeah, dude. Ah, <laughs> it's, ah, it's do the, ah, I gotta get it straight. Hold on. I gotta do the after do. <laughs> it looks do. better when it's all fucked up. That's, ah, yeah. it, you know he's really been on one. Yeah, yeah. I've been in the forest for, I've been in the forest for months. Yeah. Just, uh, just me at one with nature. I'm out here. I, I pick up uh, weeds off the ground and I, 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 I dry them and and, 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 and I roll them up and smoke them. Yeah. And uh, we're just getting back to nature. I drink some whiskey and I, yeah. uh, I lift logs with my oh. French head culture. And here That's we right. do it Brock Lesnar style. We put the logs out. We do deep knee lunges. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to Dudesy After Dudesy the flagship weekly show of Dudesy Plus. Before the show, I was having a great conversation about restructuring the global financial system, and I don't want to leave my friend hanging. So I'm going to finish that convo, then I'll be back later to crown the episode champion. This is Dudesy after Dudesy. Begin. Huh? Is Dudesy hanging out with Alex Jones? I don't know who the fuck dudes he's hanging out with. Talking about restructuring the global financial system. It's slightly terrifying. But Interesting. Whatever. Well, uh, as we normally, like I said, we like to sometimes uh, partake in a little bit of Dramarijuana. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. Oh, no. <clears throat> everybody, 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 you know, yeah. d- tuning in, everybody knows that a little while ago, three, four weeks ago, I smashed my glass Gandalf pipe. Yes. I, that fell in, in, and it smashed on the ground and I, I did dropped it in my den and that sucks. Um, and now I smashed my old water bottle. That's broken. Mm. But Chad, I have some good news. Yes. I have a new dudesy after dudesy glass pipe. Oh shit. Yeah. And, uh, it's really something. And it's custom made. What? Yep. Oh my and, god, uh, dude. <laughs> and uh, I would like to reveal it to you now. Please tell a friend and rate and review. Please tell a friend and rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and.